All right, guys, so welcome back to another edition of, um, of the, the, the famous, infamous uh, rock Q&As. You guys always ask such great questions, smart questions, deep questions, funny questions, really fucking stupid questions. Stupid ones, I know for a fact you guys are hitting the bar. Here's the first question is from uh, Gigi. Do you miss your childhood? Of course I miss my childhood. I love being a kid. I had a lot of great memories uh, as a kid. Hey Hiram, what was that one thing? Uh, oh yeah, I got beat. I got beat. I got beat in front of uh, all the kids in fifth grade. My mom came and she took uh, she took a belt and she, uh, she beat me. Yeah, she beat me in front of everybody. All of that is not true. All right, next question from Austin Henning. That is a cool ass name. You should be an actor or you sound like a pro wrestler. I really love your I Am Paradise in Miami. Thank you very much. I really wish I could uh, go there. That's not possible. A free pass would be amazing. That's not gonna happen. Uh, but I doubt that's happening. You are correct. How many people do you let use your I Am Paradise? We should have just actually got right to that question. Thank you so much for loving the I Am Paradise. Look, the I Am Paradise for me is my sanctuary. It's my getaway. It's my anchor. Um, and I have the properties that I build, I like to create them where I don't ever have to leave. And the gym is such an important element of my of my existence and my being. I love getting up super early um, and training and anchoring my day. How many people do I let use the I Am Paradise? Let's see. What what's the uh, what's the number below one? Mm. That that's the amount of people that uh, that I let use the I Am Paradise. Hey Rock, how do you feel and what do you think when someone starts crying when they meet you and they're absolutely overjoyed to see you? Like that one guy in your photobomb video with Jimmy Fallon. Ooh, what's up, dude? <laughs> Can we get there? I gotta tell you, it, this, this answer sounds incredibly cheesy, but I will tell you this, that when I meet people and they become so over, Overwhelmed with emotion, whether it's guys like in the photo bomb video with Jimmy Fallon, where this guy had no, he was there, by the way, uh, at at uh, at Universal Studios uh, on his honeymoon. He had no idea. I mean, that's just the beauty of how fate works. And he met me, and he doubled over, couldn't talk. He was crying <clears throat> when he hugged me. He was shaking. He had four tattoos of me. Oh my God, look at that dude. Oh my God, he's got a tattoo of you. Oh my God. Uh, three, four. And he wasn't some crazy fucking weirdo either, but the guy's a really good guy, you know, great family. And and he uh, he just has been, uh, you know, he's been inspired by me, for, uh, you know, for, for some time. But anyway, how I feel about that, whether it's women or girls or little girls or little children or grown men, uh, when they cry, I honestly, it sounds cheesy, but I gotta tell you, and I'm just gonna be real, is it's the best part of fame. It is the best part of fame because you are, not the fact that they're crying, but because you've done something at some point in your life so cool that they are so overwhelmed with emotion and, and they feel good about meeting you. Uh, and they walk away kind of like floating. And that's awesome, and it's the best part of fame. That's my answer. I have no dirty joke, I, that's just it. Hey Rock, can you rap? Can we turn these cameras off for a sec? Cool? Cameras off? Cameras off? Okay, cool. Yeah, so check this out guys. So one time I rap, all right? I got really drunk on a Saturday night. I got naked and I rap my cash and prizes. <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, I was getting, I did a little sexy date night, you know, with my lady Lauren. The cameras are off, right? I ran out of rap. What? I didn't know there was fucking little kids here. Thank you so much. Uh, that concludes our uh, world famous, infamous rock Q and A's. And just for the record, okay, that last one about wrapping things and all, we do have sexy date nights. Me and Lauren have sexy date nights, but that other part did not happen. And there are no little children here. I just want to make sure.